Well, where's the house? <laughs> Welcome back. It's a gorgeous day in Austin and we have an amazing before and after episode for you. This time we're doing a modern farmhouse. You guys have been asking us for it and we are finally able to deliver. This video is sponsored by Floret Floors. More about them later in the video. For now, let's get right into it. Hey Flipsters, I'm Lauren. And I'm Lincoln and we are happily married. But not to each other. We're old friends from college and we're flipping houses in the Austin, Texas area. And we're taking you along for the ride. Welcome back to the channel. We got another new project and this is oh, a first for us. We bought this project from one of you guys. One of our YouTube subscribers gave us a little shout out and said, I got an ugly house, do you want it? And we said, maybe. And here it is, we did, we wanted it. We cannot thank you guys enough for helping support this channel and, sh and giving us this lead. If you guys have an ugly house in Austin or even in Texas that you need help selling, you wanna sell it to us, we'd love to. Email us, hello at austinflipsters.com. Now, let's go check out what we got our hands on here. Let's do it. Okay, so check it out. This is a three bed, two bath, 1500 square foot house that was built in 1975, baby. We bought the property for $155,000. It's on an almost half acre lot, which is huge for the city of Austin. And you know why? Because it's not actually in Austin. <laughs> Where are we? We're in Manshack, Texas, just south of Austin. I love Manshack. There's some amazing, awesome stuff to see down here. And if you want a little bit more space, but you want to be close to all that Austin goodness, this is the place to be. Let's get up in this house. Wow. Wow. Okay. The house definitely has good bones because I'm looking at it. <laughs> Should we start in what I'm assuming was the living room? <laughs> Let's start in here. So first of all, we're buying the house this way. We haven't touched it yet. So normally okay. we've got to do demo and rip out yeah, hey, walls. There's a savings already. Yeah, baby, come on, that's free labor. Somebody, somebody did half the demo work for us. In this house, we found a little bit of mold behind the wall, so you never know. They might've pulled the drywall off trying to repair that mold. You know, you just never know what condition you're gonna find these things in. Look, check out the dust on this thing. It's been like <laughs> years since this thing's been on. Look at that. Yeah. Dude, okay. check this out though, yeah? I don't know, how do you feel about the swoop? I kinda like I it. I kinda like it too. For a house this age to have big old full length windows? I think you just replaced it with a full. Oh yeah, we got the windows are old and I'm sure they are not very energy efficient. We definitely gotta replace them. Yeah. Windows. This is a massively open area. I don't know, we can check this out structurally, but I think we could even open this up more. Mm -hmm. So this was like a hallway. I think we could have it load bearing there in the middle and open up this whole space. So you walk right into your, on your living yeah. space. And then, I don't know if you wanna talk about the kitchen next, but the kitchen is in the right spot at least next to the living room. Open that whole thing up too. Hell yeah. Bam! The reason that we walk into a property and we're so concerned about layout is because that's what the buyers are looking for. Moving on to the kitchen. You got your dining room right here connected to your kitchen. The problem is I'm feeling smaller in this kitchen. I was kitchen. gonna say, can we go up? I can't see any reason why you need this fur down. And clearly in the dining room, they've it, already right, bumped it exactly. up. I don't know why you would drop this just for the kitchen. Well, I think it's for the specialty light, the specialty fluorescent drop down this light. This custom lighting? Yeah, it reminds me of like a science lab in high school. Can't hurt to know it, right? So knowledge is power looks like the laundry is right back here off of the kitchen this is way more space than we've been in our last few projects yeah so i'm pumped for this you want to check out the patio all right it's a petite little thing nice size yard i am loving the trees at this place i am too how many different types of trees do we have you got a pecan tree back here man i love this cypress tree you got a uh, crepe myrtle tree back here <laughs> you got some more oaks that's a maple or redwood? I think that might be an olive. Bloop! There's the, so many the trees. Arborists. Yes! <laughs> it's our spin off channel. I'm going crazy, all these trees. <laughs> hey, tree huggers, welcome back. We got another episode of the Austin Arborist for you. We have got a banging before and after tree flip video. We are going back to our roots. We're putting a tree house in a hundred year old bald cypress, and you won't believe how this one turns out. All right, enough about shrubbery and trees and whatnot. Shrubbery, a shrubbery, a shrubbery. All right, let's go check out the bedrooms. All right, okay. let's check let's out the master. master first. So this is a nice big size. You got a nice big window here. 
Great layout, nice open access to your master bath, which is en suite. And look at all this headroom, man. I can see just straight up into the attic. Could vault it. <laughs> it would cost a little more, <laughs> yeah, but we could vault the ceiling. We could. Be nice. Let's don't. Okay. Check out your master bath. Yep, nice size. I think you got an awesome layout, okay? You could do your vanity, even add a double vanity here. What do you think you do? Oh, <laughs> uh, okay, now this is disgusting. <laughs> Clearly this wasn't waterproof because looks like you got all kinds of moisture and mold back here that has rotted out the framing on this thing. We're gonna have to reframe this. Water damage and mold can seem super scary, especially if this is one of your first projects. If you properly treat it, mostly with bleach, products like Kills, not a big deal, can scare away some buyers, so we can swoop in there, get a deal. Here's a big factor for me that normally we don't get to do in houses, is enclosed toilet area, okay? That's hashtag fancy. <laughs> Okay, so now we're in the second bathroom that's shared by the other two bedrooms. You got this weird enclosure. We just rip, rip this out, out yep. open it up like a normal modern tub and tile. That's easy, yeah? Yeah, that's great. And then right off of your hall bath, you've got access to both guest bedrooms. Decent sized closets. Yeah. So here's the third bedroom. Again, nice big closet space, nice big window. I think this one's a winner. Yeah, as ugly as it looks with all the walls down, it's actually gonna be super easy. I, it, think. I think so too. All right, let's get out of here. So the flooring plan changes for this project are gonna be minimal. Primarily, they consist of opening up the wall between the kitchen and the living room and expanding the opening between the entryway and the living room. So let's talk about the design plan for this project. I am so excited to finally be able to do a modern farmhouse. We have decided to take down that stucco exterior because it had some water damage. So I thought it was a perfect opportunity to replace it with a board and batten siding so you really get that farmhouse vibe. We're gonna paint it like a creamy white, I'm thinking Dover white, and then do some high contrast accents with the tricorn black, from also from Sherwin-Williams. Inside, we're gonna keep it very simple. We're gonna keep white cabinetry, white countertops, a very simple white, subway tile backsplash in the bathrooms and the kitchen, and then kind of mix it up with some few modern accents, probably some matte black hardware. I really dig this kind of lantern style. As you'll see, it's very farmhousey. I'm thinking maybe above the dining nook. And then above the island, here are some options I found. And I'm really kind of digging number five, just a very simple kind of a barn light looking thing, again, in that matte black. Now we do need to do something special with that fireplace. So I think I'm gonna put it out to Instagram. I got a few ideas. We'll see what they say. So this is a, just a huge transformation in here. Do you remember how closed off it was? Yeah, you had like a whole wall right here where I'm standing that separated your kitchen from the living room. And we were a little bit concerned that we weren't gonna be able to open it up all the way, but what we did was add a new support beam up here. So in addition to all new plumbing and electrical, we've updated the entire HVAC system throughout the house. You can see some of the new duct work here. So that means you're gonna have a very energy efficient, modern house, even though the sticks of this thing, the bones, the framing is all original. It's gonna be basically a brand new house. So let's yes. talk about the curb appeal of this thing. Um, greatly improved. Yeah, I'd say night and day. Pretty simple what we did though. First of all, got rid of all that nasty stucco. Yeah, it was water damage, it needed to go anyway, but also we didn't like the way it looked. Yeah, it was kinda ugly. And look at this bad boy, dude. I know, this turned out awesome, right? We yeah. were looking for a way to add more depth to the house and give it kind of a dynamic entry if you remember what it used to look like. This way ups our curb appeal. To pull off the farmhouse, you really have to have some dimensionality to your roof line, because this thing it was all just flat before. If you look at any farmhouses, they, they never have that. They've got some pitch, some interesting angles on the roof. And we're gonna carry these elements throughout the house into the kitchen. You'll notice kind of all the detailing up here. We're gonna have some nice detailing on the island. Ooh, it's all about the detail. Mm -hmm. Paint is coming along. We actually properly taped everything up. That uh -huh. is like 90% of the quality in the painting, really. It's the prep work, so yep. it's huge. Once we're able to unwrap them, these beams are gonna be awesome. We've chipped out for the island. It's gonna go right here, boom. Cabinets are almost in. Those should be coming in soon.
today we're talking flooring. As you know, we're going full on farmhouse look in this house and I really wanted to run a wood look floor throughout. Lauren was super stoked to work with Florette Flooring on this project. We wanted to use a rigid core wood look vinyl flooring and Florette is the best in the business. So now we're gonna head into the bathroom. We're gonna lay out all our samples and see which shade is gonna work best with the colors we've selected. Okay, so we got some choices. We put a link in the description. If you guys wanna order your own samples, if you're thinking about a project, go ahead and order your samples so that you can have them in your hand, start thinking about your design choices. Mm -hmm. This looks like almost exactly what we've been using in our other projects when we use a wood, which looks really good. Mm -hmm. What's the name of that one? Uh, this one is called Kingswood. Kingswood. Okay, so I'd say this is definitely a contender. Definitely a contender, okay. I, this was drawn to this one initially. I think it's got that farmhouse vibe we're going for. And cute as a button, it's called Sutton. Oh, I see what you did there. I, like, I want this one to be a contender as well. I like that one too. Yeah, very traditional kind of farmhouse vibe. Well, you know what I think could help us? Florette has an app where you can take a picture of your room and run it through. So all you gotta do is on their website, you can do take a photo of my room. It'll just analyze your floor, and then it puts the flooring on top of it so you can actually see what it looks like. You even got the debris in the room, dude. <laughs> Look at that. Whoa, that looks good. We're either going with Sutton or Kingswood, and Kingswood is closest to what we've been doing, and Sutton is a little more gray tones. Mm -hmm. So I think we throw it to Insta. I'm good with either way. We narrowed it down to Sutton and Kingswood. Uh, we put it out to a vote, and you guys, you agreed with me. Sutton's the best. We went with Sutton. And again, y'all got good taste. Boom. You would never know this is a vinyl product. It's so sturdy, dude. Like, look at this. Mm. Boom. Nothing doing. I love the color. Now, you guys, we put it out on Instagram. You guys picked this color, and I think y'all did a rocking job. This stuff is gonna be great. It's super durable, and it's waterproof, which is huge, right? That means you can put it in wet spaces like your kitchen. Even or, bathrooms. Or even bathrooms. I wanna show you some of the progress so far. So ideally when you're putting your floors down, it's best if they can have seamless transitions from one room to the next, and you want them all running the same direction. So that means we actually had to start laying them in the master bedroom and work them into this hallway and all the way down this long corridor. That way it's all seamless and smooth. You don't have any of those transitions and it's a much nicer, higher end feel. If you do it right the first time, you can get that boom, smooth pop. Boom, smooth pop. So we pick some light fixtures that have kind of a farmhouse feel. This is kind of a cage lantern feel. And then we've got your little barn lights over your island here. We went with some solid core doors, a little bit nicer, a little bit higher in. It's a little bit of a luxury, but to get this nice five panel kind of farmhouse look, it's kind of what we had to do. They're beautiful. Hey guys, so really quickly, I just wanted to plug our House Flipping for Beginners course. A lot of you guys reached out asking questions about how do you get started, so we created an entire course that literally walks you through everything you need to know to flip your first project, from where to find the deals, how to fund them, and then how to manage the renovations. It's literally everything we wish we would have known before we got started flipping houses. So go check out the link in the description if you guys are interested in flipping your own projects. And if you're here locally and you're already flipping or you wanna start flipping and you need investment properties, email us at hello at Austin Flipsters. We work with plenty of other investors to help them find their own renovation projects and buy and sell real estate. Okay, that's it for the plug. Let's get back to the video. All right, cabinets are in and the staging is done. Our modern farmhouse is all finished. We can't wait to show it to you. In three, two, one. What do you think? It looks 
looks awesome. Doesn't it? Our little modern farmhouse. It looks so good. What do you think about the big awning that we extended off the front of the house? I love it. I think it adds so much to the farmhouse character that mm -hmm. we were going for. Before, if you'll remember, we had that stucco siding and just took all that off, put on the board and batten, painted it bright, modern, fresh white. Total transformation. It's looking amazing. I love it. Let's head inside. Check out this modern farmhouse. Let's do it. Look at this! Wow, what a difference! So good! Yeah, it's open concept dream. It's the modern farmhouse. Opening up this wall and taking out this beam completely changes the space. Everything load-bearing is right here, and we've got these long beams to support these open spaces. And I think it, at the same time it helps define the rooms a little bit. Yeah, and how about the floors? I think they turned out awesome. All right, let's go check out the living room. How about that fireplace? Uh, it's looking amazing. I think it looks so good. Okay, we had a lot of contention on this one. We put it out there on Instagram whether we wanted to keep it kind of a light color like it was originally or paint it this dark color. I think they came through on the it dark looks color. Slick. 55% of you chose the dark gray bold option and we went with it and it turned out Hashtag fire emoji. It looks awesome. And I like the funky weird shape of this thing. Man. Now that it's a different color, I like it a lot better. Uh -huh, I think uh -huh. it really stands out. We put the modern in modern farmhouse. Well, I don't even know what that modern. means. Modern. modern? What is that? Modern. You don't know? No. Oh, sorry. I love all the light pouring in from these tall windows. I think that also goes a long way towards the farmhouse. We had to work really hard to find ones that were white on the inside and black on the outside. We work hard for you people. We're committed. Oh, man, every day, out here grinding. This, this YouTube house flip grind. Tell you what. Moving into the kitchen, we can do that now because it's this open concept. We've taken out this wall onto our enormous island, which is perfect for entertaining. Yeah, you can make I get a, you anything? a big papaya, maybe? <laughs> paella? Paella, is that yeah. what they're called? Paella, papaya. I think that's, that's a, a fruit. fruit. <laughs> we wanted to really play up the farmhouse look in here, so we went with the white cabinetry, simple white subway tile backsplash. We've got the matte black hardware and some farm-inspired pendants. You remember the old layout of this. First of all, it was closed out. The fur down ceiling came to like right here. We completely bumped that up, opened this whole wall, and then put in this massive island. We actually had to dig out to put in this island here with this slide-in range, but now you've got such a more functional kitchen. I agree, I think it's great. One other element that we did is we made these uh, doors. We took on the front door and the back, these single panel uh, full frame window doors that have a black trim. And I think it just really helps add that farmhouse character and lets a lot, lets a lot of natural light in. Moving on to your dining breakfast nook area. Now this is kind of your only eating space in the house, but I think it works because you got this big island. You can pull up bar stools too for more casual seating. And then you've got your dining just right here off your kitchen. All right, well, let's go see the bedrooms. Let's do it. The perfect place for our Mapful map. Big shout out to Mapful. They sent us this custom map. It looks awesome. Uh, so we thought we'd just throw it up in the house. And they said that if you guys want one, they would give you 10% off. So use the code AustinFlipsters10 and there's a link in the description. Get yourself a map. So thank you Mapful for sending us this. It looks cool. Let's check out those spare bedrooms. Kids bedroom number one, what do you think? I love it. More impressive than these spare bedrooms is this hall bath. Yeah. So in this one, we wanted to keep it, you know, continue with the farmhouse theme. So we've got our white cabinetry with our white countertops. We went with a circle mirror. Oh. And then that matte black faucet. You'll notice this is like an oversized little, mm -hmm. we had to reframe because there was a stud going here. So we had to actually reframe in order to get enough room. But I think it really works and adds a lot of class. Okay, let's go check out that master. This is a huge master. You've got huge, beautiful windows looking out to the backyard. And I feel like the yard is really what's gonna help sell this place because this really is on a large lot. You're outside of the city. That's what you're looking for. A little more space to roam. Let's check out this bathroom. Oh my goodness. Wow, this turned out amazing. This turned out great. Again, we used the exact same finishes that we did in the hall bathroom just to kind of give it a cohesive feel. But I, I think it turned out great. We've been working with some small showers lately, so it is nice to have this enormous walk-in shower. Boom, we bumped it out slightly so you have a little bit more space mm -hmm. to work with. I'm quite proud of this one because do you remember how nasty it was before? We completely reframed, waterproofed this thing. It's good to go. 
Let's talk about the storage you have in this place. I mean, storage for days. Wow. Do you know how many linens you could fit in there? Days, towels, beach towels, washcloths, medicine. What else? On and on. <laughs> Extra shampoo. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, disposable razors. Oh yeah. Look how big. What else could sunscreen. you Sunscreen. Yes. Thank you. Sunscreen. Hydrogen peroxide. Uh-huh. Essential oils. Yeah. Bubble bath. <laughs> You didn't say bubble bath. That's what you get when you buy an Austin Flipsters house, people. You get storage and a long list of the items that you can store. We'll put in the description down below all the things that you can store in this linen closet, okay? With shoppable links. You're welcome. <laughs> So that is a perk of living a little bit further out from downtown is you get a lot more space, a lot more storage, a little bit more, you know, freedom from your neighbors. More bang for your buck. More bang for your buck. So let's talk about where we're going to list this thing at. Let's talk about the bucks. So we bought the property for $155,000. Our all-in renovation and holding costs were $175,000, bringing our all-in investment in the property to $330,000. If we can sell the property for $415,000 after $17,000 in closing costs, that would net us a profit of $68,000. Be sure to follow us on Instagram at Austin Flipsters to see when the property sells. Well, I'm pretty proud of this one, man. You guys have been asking us to do a modern farmhouse for a long time, and this one, man, we earned it on this one. That was a lot of work. That was a lot of work. That was, uh, yeah, a lot of variables, too. Thanks again to Florette for sponsoring this video. Make sure you subscribe to the Austin Flipsters and our second channel, Austin Arborist. That's a joke. Follow us on Instagram, at Austin Flipsters. Anything else, Lauren? No. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace. How about bricks, but you keep it the same weird... She no, Joey. God, no, no. Joey. No. I'm a design That's, expert, clearly. We can both agree that you're yes. wrong, Joey. <laughs> totally. We, we are definitely mm -hmm. not keeping one or the, other. the shape and doing brick. It's one or the I, other. I should stick to what I do. Stick Just to what you do. Stay stick behind the, the camera, Joey. Stick to the edit. You better leave this in you the edit, too, so that the people it in. know. <laughs>